Yeah, yeah absolutely. So he's definitely got something. It could be pathology in here that's throwing his alignment off, or it could be something completely out that he's compensating in the body. It's like us. This is so really overdeveloped. And it's not going to just be a quick fix. It's something you just got to kind of notice and just try to stay on top of it. But, um, but yeah. And I just look for the real obvious. Um, I noticed a few little things, but it isn't going to mean or matter anything at this point. So what we need to do is kind of erase a lot of stuff and just start right from the beginning and just try to get, try to achieve some balance. Just let, just to let you know, um, it might take a little bit longer to kind of respond to a lot of this because their anatomy out of all of the equine is, is quite a bit different. They're, at, they're really? super, 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 super narrow especially where the axis and the atlas and where the spinal cord goes through. So the messages and proprioception and all the neurological receptors uh, seem to have a delay of response. Oh, interesting. And so that's just, in a Tennessee walker. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so just kind of, okay. Kind of be aware of that. And it's like, hmm, why isn't he responding a lot sooner than the rest of them? I just noticed <clears throat> over the years of experience that these guys have a tendency to take a little bit longer. Okay. So. My phone's probably going to run out of memory, but Nako, I know, will be thrilled to see anything. A little bit of hook here on this side here on, okay. the, on the corners. Oh, okay. I'm not ready for that. This is all good. That's right, that's right. There you go, buddy. It's all right. Yeah. We don't worry about doing any work at this point. It's just a matter of ah. getting kind of used to right. this situation. And then I'll just kind of rub this a little bit. Oh, good boy. Yeah, especially with horses. They haven't had it or they've had very little uh, exposure to someone in their mouth all the time like this putting a bit mm -hmm. which again a lot of times when you're if you think about it, if you got a lot of trainers that are pretty rough and that they want to just get on the horse and get going and yeah. forget about your feelings and they just yes. want to shove something in your mouth and then followed up with some bad experience on top they associate yeah. that with yeah. that yeah and so it's like I well, would too yeah, I'm not no I don't want that <laughs> right yeah, and, and taking it easy now means that any other time later when you do dentistry, yeah. he's going to know this, this is going to be okay. And yeah, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to know exactly. And he's going to, he's going to accept it. Then if you have to go to make minor micro adjustments, I'm used to the noise. Mm, good idea. Kind of a touch retreat. Yeah. Just I'm used to it. There you go, buddy. Aw. He's got he's... little hooks on the sixes here. Yeah. Yeah. He's got little bite marks on the cheek. Yeah. Not... And again, he's a little more aggressive pathology over here on this side here. Oh, where he's got the muscle yeah. on the over the eye. Got a little hook on eleven. Got a little hook on little littler hook on. Quadrant four over here. Yeah. Just because they hit a little bit of a bump. So these guys would be walking in mud the whole time. That soft wet did not help the, the thin soles. So he needs more gravel. Like Bill said, you need to buy stock in the local gravel company when you own horses living in the Pacific Northwest. Because they're so wet. You gotta have gravel for them. What a good boy you're being. He's going to feel better. A little hook on six is here, I'm taking care of. Okay. Which is your 
very first premolar. So what I want to do is when I introduce my instrument, everything's going to be new to him. It hasn't been done for a period of time, if any. Um, everything's just going to be start off light, just like kind of like with the other one. And then you, you'd be surprised that after you, after the end of this, he'll be up awake a little bit, and more so than what he is now. Then he'll be in my hip pocket, and so he's going to come in here. He's got the same thing. Pretty, pretty good canines. They sit pretty close, high up in the diastema. This would be the one. One would be what, if you were to ride this horse with a bit. Mm -hmm. You would want to see those canines right there. And they're a little bit higher. They've got nice, same kind of pathology. They've got a nice little hook right there when I touch my middle finger. Okay. Yeah. So you want to just decrease this a little bit also at the end of the thing. So I'm not pinching. I'm not, I never, never, never want to make them feel like I'm going to hold them in one spot. Mm -hmm. Everything is, if everything is just a feather light support, I kind of go, if you look at me, I'm kind of going with them. And there's times when I know, okay, I, I need, I need to get out. And a lot of times I do it sooner than before they respond. And so they're like, oh, I, I know. And then they're going to anticipate my move. I like to teach a little bit, as you can tell. Love it. Oh, we love it. So I'm just kind of starting light. He's resisting a little bit, but the, no big deal. He's just actually it's like, what is it you have in my mouth? I purposely stand on the lead rope a little bit. I give him something to bump up against. It's kind of like playing the drums. What a good boy, Chet. Good boy. You're doing so good. Oh. Good. good. Yeah, got it. I could do more, but it's not about doing it all right at once. Just do a little bit, back out with a little bit. And then they, they accept it a little bit. Open and close, touch retreat. Yeah, so we've got Randy here, the best. Mindful, careful, conscientious. Aww. Nice little hooks on 11s. Hooks on 6s, not bad though. Oh, good. A little edge rim built up. And the hooks. A little more pathology, a little more edge built up again on the on the near side here versus the far side. Okay. And the hooks on the back on the levens. This this is the bottom, mm -hmm. and they're up there like that. So what it's doing, and this is the back teeth. So what it's doing is kind of making contact. So it's wearing the backs down down like this. Mm. So. Okay. Hey, buddy. He's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I had him He's hurting helping me. Aw. So we're going to get these edges, edges now. Got those hooks. Good. Okay. They're not bad. Well, not oh, that's so good. This one doesn't have as great a pathology.